Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here um, in the Ironbound District of Newark. I'm here to talk about the NSA and Mayor Cory Booker's position on the NSA's invasion of our privacy. You know, when in the course of human events it became necessary for the colonists of the 13 colonies to shake off the shackles of tyranny and monarchy um, and preserve their liberty, advance our liberty, uh, one of the key elements that angered the colonists, that recognized, forced them to recognize that the very liberties were being challenged by the king, was the ability of the crown to use what was called the general warrant. A general warrant authorized the police or the military forces of the crown to go into the homes of colonists, to go through their papers, to go through their personal effects without any due cause, without any reason, whatever they saw fit, maybe rifle through the papers of John Hancock or Thomas Jefferson for any purpose they thought necessary. It was vague, it was unclear, it was broad, it was, a, uh, it was basically a dragnet. And the colonists understood that this was an invasion of their privacy, and it was one of the elements that drove the American Revolution and would lead to the passage of the Bill of Rights as part of our Constitution, which addressed this issue very clearly when it stated in the Fourth Amendment that it is the right of the people to be secure in their persons, homes, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures will not be violated. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, homes, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated. That is a fundamental tenet of our constitutional rights, that we are endowed by our Creator with certain inalienable rights, amongst them life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and certainly there is no liberty without security from invasion of our privacy and those, uh, at the time, what they referred to as our um, papers or personal effects. Today, new technology has replaced papers in many ways with emails, with phone calls, with Microsoft Word documents, with conversations over the telephone. Um, those are the new version of today's papers. And had those, those instruments been available, had that technology been available when this Constitution was adopted, I think they would have clarified that. In fact, I know they would have. Today, we're seeing that Fourth Amendment being assaulted in a way we never would have imagined. Those who helped develop the Patriot Act developed the Patriot Act with the purpose of securing our nation against terrorism. But what we're watching is our Constitution being torn up for the purpose of allegedly protecting us from terrorism. What we're seeing now out of this government, out of the National Security Agency, and out of this administration is a return to the same general warrants that were used by the Crown against the colonists to invade the privacy of every single American casting a broad net, certainly, across all of our telephone bills, gathering billions, and I've heard the word trillions, of telephone records, telephone messages, emails, purely invading every aspect of our privacy. Even Congressman Sensenbrenner, one of the original authors of the Patriot Act, never intended for this to occur. I'm here today in front of Mayor Cory Booker's campaign headquarters with a very simple question. Where does Cory Booker stand on the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution? Where does he stand on the NSA's invasion of our privacy? I will be very clear. I would call for the NSA to immediately destroy all the records of American telephone, records of American, all of the emails that were gathered under the Obama administration. Last week, we saw a vote on the uh, uh, Amish, uh, Amash Amendment, which would have curtailed the NSA's intrusion into our privacy. And it was a controversial and dynamic vote. It was a very, very close vote. And I believe that many of those who voted the wrong way, and when I say the wrong way, I mean, I mean against the Amash Amendment, which would have been a vote for American liberty and for American privacy, are going to go back to their district and they're going to hear a powerful message. We haven't heard the last of this. The FISA, the FISA Act, the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, authorized the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court. The Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court makes decisions that the American people have no oversight over, has very minimal insight into these kinds of decisions that are made by this top secret court. Quite Kafkaesque, actually. In fact, there's only an oversight committee of Congress 
that gets to review their decisions. And in a little known decision by the Federal Intelligence Surveillance Court, they determined the word relevant to apply in a simple decision to the gathering of any data, any data the National Security Agency saw fit to gather to monitor the privacy of Americans, allegedly to protect us from terrorism. But where can this go from here? If they can use this rationale of collecting data to collect all of our telephone records, all of our telephone records, uh, listen to our telephone conversations, which they've learned they can do. In fact, the story that just came out yesterday indicates that even low-level NSA staffers can listen into our telephone conversations, can read our emails. They tend to deny these things before they turn out to be true. But if they can gather our emails and our telephone records, then they can gather our medical records, if they deem it necessary, our credit card records, maybe the records of what books you read or newspapers you subscribe to. This is a general warrant, assault on the American people, identical to that of King George and the British over 237 years ago. Um, this needs to be repealed. But amazingly enough, and people have different positions on this issue, and we can have that big discussion. I know where Americans stand on this, but one guy hasn't taken a position, and he wants to be a U.S. Senator, and that's Cory Booker. Cory Booker's uh, ad today uh, on the Internet is never, ever stop trying. That's a rather vapid statement. I don't know exactly what it means. It sounds cute, but it does not address the issues of this nation. Where does Cory Booker stand? Does Cory Booker stand with President Obama, who urged Congress not even to vote on the Amash, Amash Amendment? You know, throughout history, whenever we have given the executive branch any extra power, they take it to the next level. They push the envelope on executive power, and you're seeing it again, an assault on our liberties. This goes to the centerpiece of my campaign for the U.S. Senate. I've said this before, and I will say it again. Every single vote I will cast in the U.S. Senate, I will have one determining factor. Am I preserving your liberty, your privacy, your freedom from government, from the shackles of big government, from the invasion of our privacy? Whether you're a Democrat, Republican, liberal or conservative, white, black, yellow, red, man or woman, that is my number one criteria. And we need to know, we deserve to know, the people of New Jersey deserve to know where Cory Booker stands on the Amash Amendment, on our privacy and our individual liberty. Does government have the right to reach into our papers, our houses, our effects, and our persons to protect us from terrorists? Um, I don't want to give up my constitutional rights to be protected from terrorism. I don't want to see the Constitution torn up, which is what's happening today. Um, and that's why I'm here. I'd I think the press deserves an answer. This isn't addressed by a jog in the park, folks. This is addressed by taking a solid position. Now, it's an interesting vote. I will give credit to Congressman Rush Holt, who took a very clear position. He voted for the Amish, Amash Amendment with Congressman Scott Garrett. They say politics makes strange bedfellows. But when it comes to liberty, that cuts across party lines. But in the case of Mayor Cory Booker, he has no position. He has called in one press discussion at Bloomberg View a couple of weeks ago that uh, something to the effect, and I paraphrase this, that he's looking forward for a, bo a robust national discussion about privacy and surveillance amongst our leaders. We had that robust discussion. It was amongst the people of this country 237 years ago. It was called the American Revolution. We resolved what it meant in the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution. That amendment needs to be held up to the highest of standards. We need to roll back the NSA's abuse of power. We need to protect American individual liberty. We need to protect your cell phone calls. Because right now, everyone here is carrying one of these things in their pocket, a cell phone. I left mine in the car. Um, that device could become a tool of government. It could be a way of bugging your calls, tracking where you are, when you are, keeping tabs on you. That's the level that they're going to in this country today if we don't act. And I will act. Um, I stand with the Amash Amendment. I stand with Senator Rand Paul at his defense of liberty. And I ask very simply that whether we agree or not, that Mayor Cory Booker clearly state his position on this critical issue. So that's why I'm here, folks, and I hope you guys will go and ask that question. I think the people of New Jersey deserve an answer.